Huh. Looks like a kind of museum. <laughs> a museum of wishful thinking. Where the rich bought and sold so many unfulfilled dreams. You been here before? Not quite. The place was built with Militech money. I was supposed to cut the ribbon on opening day. No need to delay. So quiet I can hear my chrome creak. Quiet's a good sign. You think so? I generally prefer lively places. Feel free to ask her about those exhibits. Really wonder what she'll say. Songbird, got a sitch. Can you jimmy the door? On it. Ugh, the lock jammed. Gotta brute force it, B. Time to roll up your sleeves. No need. Three, two, one. <laughs> All right. Head for the elevator, just across the room. Huh. One of Hansen's warehouses, it seems. Gotta find an elevator. Other side of the room. This is no time to stop and think. Okay, here goes. V, do you hear that? Shit, bastard's caught up to us again. Songbird. Hey, bad news this time. Hansen's dogs caught your scent. Assault incoming. You probably got spotted outside. Either way, get ready. What now? Got a surprise for our guests. Making the final adjustments now. Busy for a second. Need that. Myers, we gotta engage him. Song's on the case. I will not be surrounded! Starting to heat up in here, Songbird. Shit's fucked up. Working on it. Hold Ugh. tight. Almost there. Still melting ice for override. Stay alert, me. Stay uh. No, no, no! Seventy percent. God Almighty, it's moving! Beat the Chimera. A combat prototype from Militech Stables. Holy shit. And we're clear. 
God would. Songbird? What's with you? What the hell is going on, B? Dunno! Song's having a fit or something! Bitch went haywire! For fuck's sake, Sumi! Slap a muzzle on the thing! This way! Quick! Through here! Come on, B! <laughs> on your feet! Run! Damn it! There, got it. Elevate on the way. Stay low till it gets you. God fucking damn it! You're not dying on me today. Nope. Guess not. Right. Good. We take it out? The fall did. About time we caught a break. Uh, can't stay here. Are you mobile?
it, motherfucker! Hey, watch out!
die already. Oh. Concentrate your fire on the drones. I'll cover you. V, you okay there? One more. Hang it in. Shit, but... Nicely done. Good fucking riddance. Safeguarding the nation. My ass. No. <sighs> Close call, that. <laughs> Good teamwork. And luck. A pile of luck, me. Grab what you can, and let's head out. There has to be an exit here, somewhere. Huh. What's this? Let's try this one. Good stuff. I just hope this won't be a dead end. Songbird said to keep to the tunnels all the way to Elizabeth Crest Street. Any chatter from her? Zero. Dead quiet. Still. Not good. Come on! Fuck. Got a hatch here. Could we jump, maybe? Seen you. I don't like this. Can you try calling so me again?
Stopping's not a good idea. We get pinned down, we're ground synth beef. Exactly. But so me can guide us out of this death trap. Call her, please. Okay, gonna give it a shot. Vita Songbird. Starting to worry us, girl. Song, are you there? No answer, huh? Guess you got me and only me. Great to see you again, Johnny. Curb the enthusiasm, kid. Never know. Could need me. So? Did you reach her? Nothing. No response. Shit. What happened back there? With so me? Something was off, for sure. Could say she got hit with a demon. Maybe tripped a defense protocol on the Chimera's ice. Could say? Mm-hmm. If Songbird was a cookie cutter runner. Both know she's not, though. Damn fucking straight. Uh, but who knows? Whole thing was a clusterfuck. You know, no net run comes without a burn risk. No. Impossible. Somi's had occasional off moments lately. Temporary slumps. But I'm sure she's headed where we're headed. Same destination she gave us. It's the reasonable thing to do. Right. Reasonable. Girl's gonna have a hell of a hangover. If she wakes up. We're heading southwest now. Feels like we're circling back. Yeah, saw mention an abandoned building. Place to lie low. No heat sick. Should be relatively safe. I pray you're right, Somi. Pushable, you think? Could use a little help. Of course. Damn fork? Well, we didn't account for this. Which way now? Thoughts? Hmm. Let's try this way. Looks promising. Cameras? Here? Hansen's a military man. He loves control. And hates blind spots. Great. How to Satan's balls in here? Should plug that. Look for a valve.
Looks like a control room. Betty, that's what we called her. Re-elected nine times. You believe it? She must have had her ass welded to that seat. Funny how she has her own street in Night City of all places. That jealousy I'm detecting? Please. Jealous of what? What's the matter? Are you hurt? Yeah, could say that. Old wound. One that literally has you on the floor. My time's worth millions, V. I know it's a sensitive subject, V, but come on. Cards on the table. Got a experimental Arasaka biochip in my brain. It's killing me, literally. So me says she might have a solution. Wait. You're talking about the relic. That'd be the one. The secretive text someone stole from Arasaka. On the day Saburo lost his battle with mortality, no less. Bingo. So that's how she could reach you. That also goes a long way toward explaining the nature of your deal. I appreciate the candor. Seems it's all for one and one for all, if we're to survive. Expecting more trouble? Tonight? I expect nothing but. It's best to be prepared for any contingency. Okay, this is us, safe. Great place for an ambush. Hopefully no one else thinks so. we got here first. Seems so. We'll have to sit tight. Though I assume we'd rather not sit in the dark. Power would be useful. 
could also get the radio up and running. What? Can't miss our daily dose of fear-mongering? We need to know the situation on the ground. I want to change out of this mess. High time. Change. Into those filthy old rags. These filthy old rags won't be smeared all over every TV and terminal screen in the city. Unlike my presidential best. Have a look around. I'll join you in a minute. Check this, B. Attempted postmodern art. More like a home cooked generator. Maybe we kickstart it. Literally. Uh huh. Shit. Thing needs a little go go juice to wake up. Sure, but seeing as we got a lull in the lead pouring down on us. Listen, got a bad vibe about this. You? Yeah, makes two of us. Gig's got too many twists and turns. Songbird, S-tier netrunner, promises a panaceum, a cure-all, then gets wiped off the map. Myers, shady politico, got a dagger thrown at her back all the way from Washington. Who by, and why? Fuck if we know. Oh, plus Kurt Hansen and this fucking Sam launcher. Just preem. Got this hot, itchy feeling in my groin. Like someone's not fessed up to something. One thing's sure. Plot runs Mariana Trench deep. We'll cobble together the full picture, piece by piece if needed. More like rest in pieces. Us both. Anyway. Let's get this power sitch sorted. Should do the trick, by my eye. In you go. Fire it up. Fingers crossed. And the maze balls. Look what I found. What do you say? There's more in the fridge. Feel free. You wonder. You look great. Right? Should draw less attention, too. Grab a go. Booze. This is a good time. Let's see. Today I survived a Delta crash, a district-wide manhunt, and a prototype killer robot. Yes. It's a great fucking time. Just earn yourself a vote, Madam President. Are you even registered? Housewarming gift from Songbird, maybe? <sighs> Wouldn't it be wonderful? City. Speculative chatter continues tonight around the downed passenger craft. And U.S. representatives claim President Rosalind Myers was aboard when catastrophe struck. City officials have yet to release any statement. However, one all-too-familiar figure did decide to speak out. Kurt Hansen, the self-proclaimed leader of Dogtown, called a press conference earlier today to offer his take on the situation. I'm being framed, isn't it obvious? The NUSA's been out for my blood for years. 
Now, I'm not without flaws. But another thing I'm not is suicidal. An attempt on the life of the head of the NUSA? What transpired in Dogtown is no trivial matter. I urge you all to consider the true motives behind this... spectacle. The NUSA will take any excuse it can get to send forces into Dogtown. And will they stop there? <laughs> no. You, good people of Ninth City, are next in the fucking line. Shit. Mark my Fuck words. This. Troglodyte's clever. Maybe too clever for his own good. Bull to the shit. Nobody's buying that. Oh, they're buying it, all right. Reporters even talking to him is the first sign. Night City's public enemy number one, given a full press spread. What a fucking joke. Some mysterious party's out to trigger war. An attempt on my life's a damn good case of spell eye. All the more reason for us to stay put. Got plenty of mysteries to solve. Songbird, Washington, Hansen. To name a few. Agreed. Hear that? Footsteps. Songbird? Maybe. Can't be sure, though. It's our lucky day, Chumba. A penthouse with a view of the city. And lights that work. Huh. This doesn't feel right. None never does with you, does it? Fucking killjoy. You want an angle on Hanson's airdrops? You got it. V, we need to eliminate them. Come on, man. Let's have a look around. Wait. I'll be damned. Wanna try talking first? I hope you know what you're doing. Weapons! Now! What the fuck? I won't say it again. Yo, 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 chill. Just looking for a place to hold up for the night. This one's taken, clearly. Told you. So I see. This the uh, presidential suite. Shit. Word is, they a bounty on the head of Rosalind Myers. What are we gonna do about that? Come on, guys. Let's figure something out. We don't want any problems. Iron in my face, say otherwise. This iron will stay silent, so long as you do. Now that's an idea. But our silence ain't come cheap, yeah? Whoa. Pump the brakes, man. Not now, Tay. I was negotiating. Do you remember negotiating with Hanson? What happened? Not now. Tumes, for fuck's sake. We're all just trying to survive here. So cool it. Stop talking scop and stay your price. One million. Fine. On one condition. You'll help. Lend us miscellaneous support. Mm hmm. And what's that supposed to look like exactly? There's enough space for four. Should be easy to stay out of each other's way. But if any uninvited guests arrive, we'll be counting on you to stand with us. Seriously? What's there to consider, Chumes? Chill. You know, just weighing the potential pros and cons. Can you weigh them any fucking slower? You got a deal, Madam Prez. And... Want me a Rayfield? Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. Any model in particular? Shit, my ass will fit them all the same. Tell me where you want it parked. Will do. So long as your bodyguard don't slit our throats come nighttime. Well, V, do you plan to slit these two gentlemen's throats? Rest easy, Chum. Just mind your manners. Okay, I promise, Mama. Well, all fucking right. We got us a deal. I like to celebrate new chooms by tossing back a few, but T and I gots to be sharp. Airdrops come morning. Gotta get up early. Same here. Come on, V. Let's 
been a hell of a long day. Watch the master and learn, T. Watch and learn. You're gonna get us killed one of these days. Maybe. But at least you'll kick it with a smile on your face and your ball's in the right place. Looking for someone. Asian-American woman, about 30. Seen anyone like that? Well, it doesn't ring a bell. But shit, <laughs> you can't ask her to meet at a bar like a normal chew? You pull the night shift? Well, we could call it my part of the deal. And an old habit from the Badlands. So, you a nomad? I was. Once upon a time. Abandon your family? I betrayed them. I'd rather not get into it. Sup, V? Shoot some shit with me? Then spill it, my man. Working for the press. What's it like? Feds probably pay stacks, yeah? I look like I'm from D.C. to you? <laughs> Fuck if I know. Never been. Nah, I'm Haywood, born and bred. Darktown native. No plan to leave, neither. Don't intend to take your shiny new Rayfield for a cross-country road trip? Chum, the day I believe a word out of anyone's mouth will be my last. Then why agree to her deal? Cause I's an honorable motherfucker, maybe? Shit, folks gotta live by some kind of code. Anyway, you made a wise choice for an overnight. Safe, out of the way. It's even got work and power. Mentioned airdrops before. What's that about? It's like this. Colonel Hansen runs a big market, but he's landlocked, right? Gotta get his shipments in somehow. Talking iron, ammo, meds, fucking anything. All falling out of the sky and into Kurt's lap. Now, if you know where and when to look, might fall into your lap instead. Feel me? Telling me finders keepers? Clepping from Kurt? It's kid stuff. Trickle down economics, I call it. Mention Kurt Hansen. You and him got some kind of beef? See this junk? Hansen's goons took my organic leg. Oof, that's tough. Was a conflict of interest. Colonel Dipshit don't appreciate motivated entrepreneurs like myself. Wanted to start a little side biz, yeah? But I forgot all about the registration fee. Now I serve as a warning to the rest. So, one thing I don't get. Building's safe, right? So why is it a total ghost town? Right. <laughs> See... Well, that's because it's haunted. You ain't never heard the stories, dawg? Jacob. It's true. A lot of peeps died here. Mysterious circumstances. Like an aneurysm, each and every one. One time, 12 runners they found. All their brains fried. Hansen closed the house down, banned entry. And the colonel's word means lots more than some turrets and shit. Folks know to stay away. So what are we still doing here? Cause fuck them, that's what. And fuck urban legends. Finally. My legs are killing me. Come on. Take a breather. Still nothing from so me. Radio silence. 
She's never gone dark this long. Troubling, to say the least. How you feel about our roommates? None too bright. But not entirely useless. And two extra guns could always prove handy. Gonna give them that payday, really? Why wouldn't I? They're taking a sizable risk. So, what if Songbird don't show? We need to wait. It's all we can do for now. If she doesn't show, well... Then... I'll have one other option to consider. But let's table it till morning. We should get some rest. <laughs> Surreal. All of it. What's that? I'd have been home by now. Reading the evening brief, glass of water and two sleeping pills waiting on the night table. Doesn't sound like you miss it much. <sighs> See you in the morning, V. She's on the balcony. Sleep okay? Night all right? Like any with a roof overhead. Claustrophobic. As for Jacob, he thrives in dreamland. Come on, baby. Ever ridden in a rayfield? My villa with VIP friends? High society? On and on till the crack of dawn. A man with ambitions, clearly. Those in a deviated septum. Where's Jacob? Fresh air drop nearby. Jay went down for a look-see. She's not here. Means she's not coming. You seen the swarms Henson has at hunting? Might have nabbed her. Possibility. One that concerns me the most. I need to find her. You don't leave your people behind enemy lines. Could it still buy that fairy tale bullshit? Whatever happened, we have to help her. Listen, no, we had a calm night, but you gotta leave Dogtown. How? In a car trunk? Fingers crossed? Hanson's waiting for that sort of desperate attempt. Okay. There gotta be a way. Let me think. Know my share of fixers. Bet we could get one Out of the question. They'll hand me over to the highest bidder. Gotta talk backup plan. Not a plan, a man. The kind we need. Solomon Reed's the name. Seven years ago, he headed up our intelligence efforts in Night City. He and so me were a team. With the conflict over, he went into hibernation. So he's out there somewhere. Reed's a man of principle. He can't be swayed, can't be bribed. If there's anyone we can trust now, it's him. A sleeper agent? No shit. Tell me more. Unless that's like a state secret or whatever. It is. 
of the false bottom drawer variety. Let's say you want to secure your interests on another country's soil. If diplomacy fails, you resort to other means. Like a military coup. That's one option. Solomon Reed is another sure one. Reed guy sounds like an ace up your sleeve. Could have played him already. Activating a sleeper agent is no simple matter. You'll need a dog whistle. A what now? Don't tell him I called it that. It's a signal only Reed will hear. It'll be tricky. Huh. There was a secret comms channel accessed only from a Capitan Caliente nearby. The FIA used it before the war. The access code was... 0931. Got a bad feeling, V. Okay, seems doable. And I prefer discretion to destruction. I trust that's clear. Uh-huh, so what'll happen next? Reed will need to screen you. You'll show him this. It means you work for us. What the? The file will be created for you in the FIA database. Wait, back up. Tell me I'm a special agent now. That's right. But taking the oath make it feel more real. Yeah, nah. Let's skip the formal thing. Is there a problem? It's just a big commitment, you know? Can't swear to something I don't believe in. It's your choice. I understand this was sudden. Good luck out there, V. And don't let the bastards nab you. <laughs>